Hey everybody, Austin at Homeowners Financial. Happy Tuesday. I had a question last week when I was talking to a client. She's like, you know, I was Googling about jumbo loans and the tips on them, and I didn't really find a lot of info. And I was like, hey Tara, let's do a video on that. So here we are. So what is a jumbo loan? A jumbo loan is a common name for a non-conforming loan. A conforming loan, again, is one that conforms, does what we say we will, it will conform to your guidelines, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Now, conforming loans have a nationwide limit of $548,250, and then each county has its own limit. So here in Santa Barbara, it's 660100 right? Ventura is $739,400. So they're, they're different across each county nationwide, and that's all set at the federal level. So if you cannot conform to that loan amount, or those guidelines, you are a non-conforming loan, you are a jumbo loan. And the jumbo loans we typically think of as the big loan amounts, right? It's not necessarily uh, the Fannie and Freddie guidelines of uh, continuity of obligation on alimony, because that's a different guideline for each investor, right? So what is a jumbo loan? A jumbo loan is one that does not conform, it's a big loan. And because it's a bigger loan, we say it has the golden rules. He who has the gold makes the rules. Now, every investor has different qualifications, but here's some basic tips. Basic tips on qualifying for a jumbo loan. Your total debt to income ratio, so your gross monthly debt when it's a W-2, so it's a whole different ballgame, is, 40, is 43% of your debt into income. So if you make $10,000 a month, you can have $4,300 a month in calculated debt. Mortgage, tax, insurance, HOA dues, car loans, anything on your credit report, right? That is your monthly debt obligation, so 43%. Another thing is that it's got to have reserves. Reserves on cash on hand after closing. And reserves can be just for the subject property, the property that you're financing, but it could include other properties if, say, you have a departing residence of, I live in this condo and now I'm buying a house, but I'm going to keep the condo as a rental. Each property may need reserves. You may have properties that are second homes. So properties that you own will have reserves. Reserves, again, is cash on hand after closing. It's the months of the mortgage, taxes, insurance, and HOA payments, P-I-T-I-A as we call it. It's anywhere from six to 12 to 24 months. So start with six months if you really wanna position yourself from there. Also, jumbo loans are more stringent on credit. They want typically at least a 700 credit score. Now we have options that are less, those terms are not as favorable. So if you're talking in general, in general, you want at least a 700 credit score. So you want to make sure your debt to income is 43% or less, at least six months reserves, and that we have the 700 credit score. There's a lot of different parameters as far as what income they'll use. Certain investors will use RSUs, certain won't. Certain will use rental income if it's an Airbnb, certain won't. Those are nuances, but if you're just talking about those basics on a non-conforming loan, a big loan amount, it's a lower debt to income ratio, it's a higher credit profile, and they wanna see cash on hand after closing. Any other questions, anything I can let you know, please, please tell me. It's Austin at Homeowners Financial. I am so grateful that you subscribe to this, that you listen. I wanna make this as transparent and give you as much information as possible. Make it a great day, cheers.